For the White's home, I wanted to combine the rugged, simple style of the husband with the classic look that the wife loves. The nice thing about the master bedroom is it didn't need a ton of updating, but for this room, it was really a cosmetic change that we did. But again, we're talking about the blend of rustic and traditional. Two people, two different styles, but one room. We installed new hardwood floors in here. As you see, we have this really pretty, delicate chandelier. I think the chandelier just adds a really sweet, special touch to this room. It really makes it feel warm, cozy, inviting. Now, the husband really wanted a sliding barn door. I didn't beat it up too much. I left it pretty clean and simple, pretty stained. I mean, this is something that you can build. The rustic door and the chandelier and the headboard really balance each other out. Here in the bathroom, I think, is where you're really gonna see the biggest blend of both of them. You've got the marble backsplash, but the wood tile. You've got the marble countertops over here with the wood frame. So it's a really a blend of him and her. I really think this house was one of my favorites because it was blending two very different styles into one space, and it worked. When designing with the coastal theme for the Armoyan project, I didn't want to go too literal with it. So I used simple, thoughtful details to tie it all together and keep the design relaxed and calming, not overwhelming. I really love how quaint and cozy it is in here. The color on the walls I decided to use was a lighter blue-gray tone, but it still has that fresh, clean way about it. When you're trying to carry on a theme, you can keep it subtle. We have the sand and these really cool hurricane jars. Fun little glass things with seashells. My client loves shells. The lamps with the rope, but also this driftwood that we found um, here in Waco. It's stuff like this that I think even though we're in Texas, you can still have what you want. Let's check out the master bathroom. I really like this bathroom because it's not overbearing. There's a lot of texture going on and a lot of dimension, but it's not too much. I love these fun pendant lights that we chose, these rotating mirrors. We use a really light palette in here, softer gray on the floor. One of the things I love the most in this bathroom is this new shower that we got for our clients. We've got this really cool basket weave on the wall and then we have these fun pebbles on the floor. We've made their shower twice as big, but with this glass and all this texture, I just really feel like it makes a huge statement in this bathroom. When designing the Ridley home, I wanted to make sure it felt like a guy's place without it being too dark and heavy. So here in the master bedroom, I just really love how simple and clean it is in here. This room is just a really good blend of texture, wood, and metal elements. But I also just love that the trim is darker than the wall, so it really kind of does a play on color. It has that masculine feel in here, but it's not too heavy, where it still feels pretty light and airy. You know, this headboard was really simple to make. We basically had our welder, who did these really cool sliding doors, make this headboard so it tied in. We've got two of these doors that lead into the walk-in closet and the master bathroom. You know, I just really love the texture and the blend that this brings to the rest of this room. I feel like it gives it that masculine touch. And here in the master bathroom, you'll see that carry in here as well. I love these concrete countertops. We did this double vanity. Even though the space is limited, we still did these really cool wall mount faucets. But one of my favorite things in here is this wall mounted shelf with the wood. So it really, again, it brings that balance to this darker tile, these harsher elements. I think the wood really tones all that down. It also gives really good practical storage for my client. This project was a really fun one for me. I really feel like this is the ultimate bachelor pad. There's a really good blend of simple elements mixed with modern and that ranch style that I know he really liked. The Downs home is over 100 years old, so I wanted to create a very classic design that didn't take away from the original character, but also blend that with some modern touches. Over here in the dining room, this is the grand room to me. I mean, we have this really large chandelier. I like to do light fixtures that make a statement, and I really feel like this light fixture is bold, pairs well with this beautiful table that Clint made. But another thing we did is just play off all the natural light that comes in. We added a really cool window seat um, to just make function more in the space. They wanted more seating in here, so that was just a natural way to add it. Now onto the kitchen. They like the idea of blue cabinets, um, so we did lower cabinets that are blue. There's still a really classic way about this kitchen. We have the subway tile that they wanted, the really beautiful Carrera marble. 
and then he got his stainless farm sink, which is something that he really wanted. I think this kitchen is fun because there's a lot of mix and match going on. You've got a, a mix of metals, you've got some brass, you've got some stainless. We also did a really fun play on color, so I feel like when you see this kitchen, it's just packed with character. The Zan family home needed a total renovation, but one thing we did not need to fix was the beautiful view. The scenery outside of this home inspired my design throughout the home, especially the main living space. One of the things I love about this room is just how wide open it is and how simple the colors are. There's contrast, but it's really clean because really when you look out every window, there's just a beautiful view and I didn't want what was going on in here competing with what you see outside the window. So as you can see, we trimmed out all the windows and the doors with really over here in the living room, I just really love how it's kind of the anchor of this room. It's really symmetrical, it's clean, it's classic. Again, it focuses on what's beyond these walls, which is the view in the backyard. Come check out the dining room. You know, I was really strategic about where I placed the dining room in this new layout. It's front and center, it's under this really cool chandelier, and then the backdrop is this amazing open kitchen. But what I love about this table is my client said this is where she would eat when she was a little kid at her granddad's table, and so the fact that we got to restore it, put it back in this house, I think it was really meaningful to our clients. The Downs really wanted an open and welcoming entry. Sometimes in these older homes, there's interesting obstacles you have to overcome. One of the biggest challenges with this project was the layout of this house. Originally, when you walked in, there was a huge fireplace right here in the middle, but you couldn't see the rest of the house. My clients really wanted an open feel. They wanted it light and airy in here, but with that brick structure that was really messing up the flow. So we played around with the design and the layout of this house, and I thought to make a grander entry, it would be really cool to do his or her offices in the front of the house rather than in the back. So as you can see here, I've got her office here. But again, all the same trim work is happening, so there's a really great deal of balance. And then you've got this really pretty light fixture up here that just sets the stage, and it really feels warm and inviting. But now you're not walking into a huge structure that's blocking the view.